Debbie Gillespie is as independent as they come. But being partially blind, Debbie has faced some challenges getting around the city. Well, Toronto, because of the ever-changing construction. It's gotten a lot easier with this. Hours of operation, Monday to Friday, 7 up to 7 p.m. The Shop Talk Blind Square enabled app. Using beacons allows a person to know what's around them and where they are in the space within it. So they know what's nearby, how to receive assistance, and points of interest inside as well as using a GPS outside. The Blind Square GPS app covers the Young and St. Clair neighborhood. Nearly 200 local businesses have partnered with the CNIB by putting up these beacons. So when Debbie wants to go to... Nearest beacon is welcome to David Scott Beauty. The app will navigate how to get there and provide other information that we may take for granted, like which door to open or how close reception is from the entrance. I decided that I wanted this, I wanted to be a part of this, and I feel it's important that businesses like us are exposed to this. The TTC is also partnering with the CNIB, which means when you use the app, you'll hear this. <laughs> Nearest beacon is accessible walkway to north-south passage, elevator access. So letting you know where all the accessible access points are, where to enter and where to pay. To allow users to navigate the station as if a person reading was reading signage in print. The technology is being tested at St. Clair Station and is in step with the TTC's objectives. A statement from the chair says... Making the TTC fully accessible is one of the most important commitments we have made in our corporate plan. This partnership and this innovative technology is one way we are eliminating barriers to the TTC. This allows me to have more independence um, in a space that I may not be as familiar with. Uh, or if you are visiting Toronto and you have the app, uh, using, you can also wander the space and learn a lot about the neighbourhood without asking for assistance. The CNIB says there will be more Monitoring the pilot project with plans to expand in other areas. In Toronto, Brandon Rowe, City News.